for the boys. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. To start this video off, I'm gonna create or try and create a fire ass 4th of July vlog for you or video for you guys. I'm with Bobby, Bobby's sister, right up there. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I haven't drank alcohol in 30 days and I had a little bit of a uh, truly today. It's pretty wild. Should I tell him the story why I didn't drink for a while? I almost got a DUI. This is actually the day I got my 350Z. We were coming home from Coeur d'Alene and it was a, one of our friend's birthday. It was two in the morning. We have obviously been drinking a little bit. I wasn't like obviously blocked out drunk or I wouldn't be driving. Um, I probably should have been driving either way. But I got pulled over <coughs> for not using my blinker. I got pulled over for not using, or for turning my blinker on long enough doing a lane change. And I had to do all the DUI tests and shit. And he says, the state trooper said, I can tell you've been drinking, but not enough to arrest you. Have right. a good night, drive safe. And that was that. So I haven't drank since then as my punishment to myself. And I'm a daddy anyways. We all had a really, really good time out at the lake. We're back home now, and tonight is the night we are throwing the meetup. So originally, I was gonna take out the Evo 8. The Evo 10 is down. The FRS isn't quite ready yet, so I was gonna pull out the Evo 8. I started the car up, drove it down to the shop, let it idle for like 20 minutes to get that battery charged back up, because it was dead again, obviously. I shut the car off, vacuumed it out, went to go start it back up, and the freaking thing would not start again. So I think it's another OmniPower four bar map sensor failure. We've had, it's either like five or six of those map sensor failures. So I really need to get to the bottom of that, figure out what the heck is going on there. So I just jumped in the STI. I am selling the STI, so it'll be nice to bring it out to its very last meet, or I guess it's never been to a meet before. It'll be nice to bring it out, have people enjoy the car for what it is, and then we can get rid of the car. As you can see, my boy Jordan made it up from Tri City. He came all the way here for, it's his 21st birthday, and then for the sick meet as well. So it should be a good time. Setup is Pretty epic. The SDI is absolutely disgusting, so I'm gonna pull it in and give it a quick wash. I gotta wash Bobby's car, and I think we're gonna wash Jordan's BRG as well. And then we can head over to the meet. Should be a pretty damn good time. I'm excited to meet all you guys. What's up, bro? How are you? Good, how are you? So nice meeting you. Oh. Well guys, we made it out to the meet. It's just getting started and there's quite a bit of people here so far. Ha <laughs> ha 
What up guys it's actually now the next morning we went out for jordan's 21st birthday last night that's kind of the whole reason we decided to throw that meet he was gonna be up here in spokane and it was his 21st birthday i was like dude let's throw a fatty meet and have a good time so yeah we went out a little bit jordan had a few too many tequila shots um, i'm kind of over drinking these days so i don't really drink too much but it was a good time it's now the next morning i figured i'd jump on here and thank you guys so much for for coming out to the meet it's a really really good time is the turnout was way bigger than I had ever anticipated so it was super sick meeting all you guys so there's a few people that traveled pretty far I know one dude was on his bike he was from Mexico which was freaking wild I think he is just passing through but still that's crazy he rode his bike from Mexico I know there's people that came from Yakima from Tri Cities from from Seattle there's people from literally everywhere so seriously thank you so much for coming out it was a damn good time I plan on doing more of these meet so stay tuned on my youtube channel i do i throw them on my community tab i'll try to and then my instagram story as well if you guys want to follow me on the gram i'm headed back to the shop right now to work on the frs wheels they should be fully assembled so guys i know you've been wanting to see what wheels we're doing on the car for a while now so stay tuned on the channel hopefully within three or four days i'll have that video live see you guys then